Here is one of the corsets that I've been working on. It's the perfect project for boning or cording. Make sure that you have finished all the needed adjustments for the article of clothing before moving to boning. This should be the very last step. Basically, when you start working with such the small pattern strips, the simulation becomes more erratic. So the first step is making a pattern strip that matches the dimensions of your boning internal lines on the clothing. You can see this looks like a boning channel. So we just go up here and click box and drag it out and adjust the points to match. And I'm just going to drag the edge and take it all the way down. that up. At this point you can move it to the side to see it better. It's a good idea to change the diffuse color just so you can easily spot penetration issues. You can change the colors back once you're finished. Just go over to the properties editor and go to diffuse color. I like to take the ambient color down a little bit. Go to the cloth window and arrange the pattern. So just bring it forward a bit. Now I will show you two variations, one for boning, one for cording. To mimic a flat rectangular shape like a whalebone strip, place a turtle rectangle shape on the pattern strip. So we pick this icon, get in close, then arrange points and drag down the edge like before. And further fix the point to the corner. And that's one variation that mimics a well bone. Now, to get a softer cording effect, we want to place an internal line down the middle of the pattern. So we're just going to copy this shape by going Control C then control V to paste it and we're going to put it over a second channel and I want to delete this internal line because I don't need this one and just rearrange the corners to match this new channel And then I'm going to pick this tool to place a single internal line. Okay, now we're going to change the folding property to zero. It's folding all right here. 
and we're going to change render folded to false to get a rounded raised shape if you leave it set to true you'll get a raised sharp shape I'm going to move this over a little bit and also need to arrange it over here in the cloth window okay and then I'm going to shift select both of these patterns over here in the object browser and change their fabric property to silk In the pattern window, I'm going to double click the corner of the pattern strip and boning area to sew them together with the free sewing tool. So you double click here, and double click here, double click here, and double click here. Now you can simulate. And you see, this one is flat to mimic a whalebone boning, and this one is rounder, softer for a cording profile. Once all the pieces are complete, you can place the boning pattern pieces back over the main pattern.